Now, just out on the track, that is the under-16 girls, 800 metres. I'll go from the outside because Eliana Mitchell, she is smashing it out at the moment. She's in the number nine. Number eight, Lucy Letchford. Gigi McInjanini from in seven. Jayla Ka- Hancock Cameron, Georgia Laven, Imogen Gardner, El Rutherford, and Caitlin Klein. And they've definitely pulled her back into the pack, and that's the number six, Jayla Hancock Cameron. Currently in the lead, and they've just slowed it down a little bit. A little bit? Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> they were... <laughs> They were flying down the back straight through the first 150 and they've come into the bend and just sat. The rest of the field sort of now bunched up behind them. They're all jostling for that front position. Yeah, Eliana Mitchell out in lane nine, obviously not knowing what kind of pace the rest of the girls are going. So she's taken it out hard, cut across and hasn't found any other athletes there. Exactly. But obviously she's found herself in a nice little position now, just off the shoulder of the athlete from New South Wales there, Hancock Cameron. And Hancock Cameron will lead him through the bell. 110.34 for the first lap. Uh, any, it, they're all in it at the moment. Say a good five, six metres just from first to last at the moment. But that's Hancock Cameron out in front. Garner, Mitchell and McGenini. But as you can see there, slow first lap. Six seconds slower than what the girls were in the under-14s. But as we see there, Hancock Cameron, she's taken to the front now. She's leading him down the straight. She's made her move for 300 to go. We've got the Victorian athlete there, Macajanini. She's trying to chase it down. Hancock Cameron and Macajanini with 200 metres left. She's trying to respond to the move, and she's got the speed coming around the bend, and hopefully she can use this whip into the home straight. Macajanini, she loses a hip number as she comes into the home straight. Eliana Mitchell and Klein trying to battle out for that minor placing. But it's Macajanini from Victoria. Might be a little bit of a move here from Hancock Cameron from New South Wales as well. She's fighting back. McInjanini, Hancock Cameron. It's going to be a very tight finish here. Great work there from Gigi McInjanini from Victoria to hold on and take out the under-16 girls, 800 metres. I thought Hancock Cameron might not have had another move, but she definitely dug and found something a little bit extra, but it was just not enough to respond to that big move there from the Victorian. And a good lean on the line. Yeah, she she, had, she took the race on, 300 to go. She made the move. She quickened the pace. She obviously wasn't happy with it after the first 400 and a slow 110. And sometimes being brave like that, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. But a uh, great run there by the two girls. But as we go down to Tamsin, she's with our winner. I am here with, a, with our winner, Gigi. That was a tough race. Yeah, yeah. Um, but boxed in at one stage, well, actually the whole way through, and then had to make my way out, and it was, took it out of me. Well, that's the danger on a slow pace. Obviously, you know if you could get out with your 400 speed, you were going to be okay. Did you panic at all down the back straight? Oh, my God, yes. I was just stressing out, um, and then I felt really bad, actually. I kind of cut a girl off a little bit, but... Anyway, you had to get out. That's the nature of 800 running, unfortunately. Now, when you did get out, you went with great turn of pace. Did you think you had it the whole way down that front straight? No. I could hear her. She was, like, right behind me. And I was like, oh, my God, go. Go, Gigi, go. But, yeah, it was all right. Well, you certainly did go. You held your form really well, Gigi. It was a great race. Well done.